Hello, Fancy Me and you here. Welcome to Nala's Kitchen, a show we cooked up to make delicious food and to learn some new recipes in the kitchen together. Do you know what's approaching on August 25th? It is National Banana Split Day. Again, don't know how legit these holidays are, but we're gonna celebrate them in the kitchen together. Today's recipe will be a banana split cake, no bake. So no bake banana split cake. Say that five times fast. What will you need? I will be making a small version since I'm not hosting anyone on this holiday, but if you are hosting people and want to bring it in like a nine by 13 baking pan, I would recommend doubling everything I say, or thing. So I'm only going to need one cup of graham crackers crushed. You're gonna need two cups. Everything I say, double it, okay? I'm using one cup because I'm using little. You will need more. After one cup, you will need a half a cup of granulated sugar. I will need half of that, which is one fourth cup of granulated sugar. Next, you will need a third cup of butter, unsalted, so we can control the salt. I will need half of that, which is a, like a little smidge bit more than two tablespoons. You can just cut two tablespoons of butter, that's half. Next, you will need 16 ounces of cream cheese. I will only need eight ounces, so one stick. You will need two. All right, on to the Cool Whip. I got True Whip, because I'm trying to eat a little healthier, you know. You will need 16 ounces of Cool Whip. I only need half of that, because I'm breaking down my eighths into four ounces. So there's two separate situations where you'll need eight ounces of Cool Whip. One in the mixture, another to top your cake. So 16 ounces of Cool Whip for you, unless you're making a small one like me, you just need eight. Also, you will need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I only need a half a teaspoon, again, because I'm making a smaller version. You will also need a chocolate drizzle of some sort to top your cake. So I'm just gonna melt some chocolate chips. You can get an actual chocolate syrup from the store. I'm just gonna melt some chocolate chips. You do you, boo. Lastly, you will be needing what's in your cake. You'll need strawberries, bananas. I cut up like, I don't know, it's like a handful. So maybe like eight to 10 strawberries. I'm gonna say eight. I got this amount. I cut up two bananas. I got this amount. You'll need double this because you're making it a bigger one, remember? And then you will need one uh, 20 ounce size of crushed pineapple. I'm only gonna be needing half of this again because of the mixture, but you will need a full can of crushed pineapple and you will need to drain it. It will need to look like this because you're making it in your mixture. Okay. Woo! Why did I do that? I don't know, intrusive thoughts. All right, first things first, go ahead and melt your butter and add in your graham crackers into your melted butter and you can toss in like a teaspoon of salt as well this is gonna be your bottom layer, your base. All right, dump in graham crackers and make sure your graham crackers are crushed because it is a crust, remember. Now we mix. Mix, 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 mix. Mixolodeon. Whatever you are going to be putting this in, you're going to pat this down very tough, like packed brown sugar. You're gonna need a packet. Pack it, baby. I am going to drizzle in, drizzle in. I'm going to sprinkle in some salt, about a teaspoon, and mix, mix, mix. Now, I am going to already start my layer. Before I start mixing, I'm actually gonna create my first layer. So let's get to plating. Go ahead and just dump on in. Ooh, this is a thick layer. Okay, so now you're gonna pat that down literally as packed as possible and as even as possible. The packed, the better it will create a crust. And then we just wanna make it layer or even going around your fingies. You can even use like, what is that? A potato smasher to make it even if you'd like. So you don't have to really work with your hands, but I love working with my hands. All right, our crust, yum. In this next step, we will be taking our cream of cheese. Again, yours is doubled, but you will be dumping it. Make sure it's at room temp. I was letting it chill while I got all the ingredients together. Or not chill. Like literally, I let it just like hang out and chill. And then you're gonna dump this in. I always have a little guy with me so I can get the rest off. Next, you're gonna dump in your granulated sugar and your vanilla extract. You're gonna mix together! Ready? 
want it nice and creamy. Oh yeah. Now grab your Cool Whip. This one you will need eight ounces, so I'm only gonna do four ounces. You are going to fold in your Cool Whip into this mixture and you just fold. I'm hoping this is a fun, quick recipe with a no bake. I always love a no bake because, you know, it's no bake. <laughs> Once this is situated, you are then going to take your mixing, your situation, and put this layer in. Go ahead and get that smooth out. You're gonna get a little spoon. Yeah. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Perfect, perfect. In this layer, you want to add in all your toppings. So, this could be a fun design, uh, really whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna top with my pineapples first. You can even press them down, because it, it's okay if it's in the mixture. This is what we want, we want it to taste pineapple-y. Then, bananas! Top that, make sure they're all spread out. Lastly, our strawberries. Again, you can push them in a little bit. I would cut some of them in just like a couple different arrangements so you have some that are like smaller so if you do have just a little bit of room you can do that with the smaller ones okay you will be taking the rest of your cool whip not your other mixture your cool whip and you are going to be topping off this is it this is the grand finale you're going to top this off with the rest of your cool whip and top it with the rest of your toppings. Beautiful, wonderful, perfect all-American girl. Next, same thing. Top with your pineapple, your strawberries, and your bananas. Another layer, another layer of yumminess. Now, if you like nuts, you should top it with some hazelnuts as well. I'm not a huge fan of nuts on my sweets, so you do you and put some hazelnuts if you like that. Then I will put in my bananas. And this is the part of baking that is fun because it's your creation. You can be as creative as you want. You can just throw them on. You can decorate it however you'd like. That's my favorite part. It's bananas and then our straws. Maybe we want just some placements. I think I'm good on the straws. All right, final step. I just microwaved some chocolate. You can get chocolate syrup. Whatever you want, again, just melted chocolate. Now, you're going to drizzle on top. My chocolate is not as runny as I would like it, but it is fine. It gives what we want. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be perfect. And that's it! A no-bake easy banana split cake to celebrate National Banana Split Day. Go ahead and enjoy with some friends and family or just yourself. If you're making a smaller size, this is a definitely a guilty pleasure. Now, to business. We just finished our banana split. What do we gotta talk about? We gotta talk about banana splits. Just kidding, that's not what I meant. We got to talk about pet adoption. Where? Long Beach Animal Shelter. They need us, they still need us because they have so many dogs and cats and bunnies, you name it, at their shelter and they don't have enough beds. So please, if you know anyone or even yourself that's interested in pet adoption, please check out the information below about Long Beach Animal Shelter. Now go enjoy some banana split cake! As always, this is Nala's Kitchen. I'm Nicole. We made something fun in the kitchen. You should be proud of yourself. Please share about Nala's Kitchen with your friends and family or anyone you know that likes to have fun in the kitchen. And don't forget to let them know about pet adoption in the Long Beach Animal Shelter. As always, stay seasoned and balanced. Happy National Banana Split Day!